Well, hello and welcome back to the Shepherd's Creek Podcast. Hope you guys are doing well today. Today we're going to do a knife review. Really, this is going to be an unboxing video of the Yukon River Knives Small Game Knife. Now, I really appreciate this company. I've talked to their founder and owner, and I've also talked to Jeremy McMorris, who is now the guy that runs everything. He's a pastor and hunter, and now he's running Yukon River Knives. And I just really, really like what they're doing. So I want to tell you about it and tell you about this knife. They are going to be the sponsor for the month of August and September. So two months, you're going to be hearing about them. And in the front of every single show and every single video, you're just going to hear a spiel about, about Yukon River. Now, I found out about this knife company through Instagram and it started following their page. I'll put all these links in the show notes so you can check them out and was intrigued because I've been working with Buck Knives for three years and did some giveaways and they were gracious to give me some knives and just been working with them and they were great. Now Buck is a huge company. I mean, you know about Buck Knives, most likely. Big company and they have mass produced knives and they're great knives by and large, but they're accessible to everybody. Some of them, their price points are higher and lower. I've got the Buck Vanguard that I used to cut up my bear last year. I think it's about a $100 range, something like that. So they are good quality knives, but with these premium knife companies, they're making knives that are going to last a lifetime. And the ad that I produced for them at the end of the tagline, I'd said that this is going to be a knife that you're going to be able to give to your grandkids or your great grandkids because it's going to last that long. It's an incredible, incredible knife and really at a great value. In fact, let me get my notes because I've got the steel. Let's see here. Yeah, I've got the steel that it's made out of, and I wanted to make sure that you knew about that. But first, let's do a little bit of an unboxing. Now, I have opened this knife, but for you, this is going to be for the first time. The first impressions, almost any company, are so vital. And one of the, the best things about the first impression from Yukon River is that you get this incredibly nice wooden box that the knife is presented in. And as you see here, you slide the box like this and open it up and then what you were you know revealed inside is this really cool set in feature for the knife and it looks really really nice sitting in the box so as you open the box there's the view and you can see it right there pretty cool okay now as you get the box and open it the whole aesthetic is great it's pleasing to the eye already and you can tell this is a premium knife i'm not just getting a nice little cardboard box that this is shipped in, you open it up and you recognize, the first thing I recognized was the quality of the sheath. Now I want you to see the thickness of leather. Sheaths are very important and I want you to be able to see this. The knife fits so good into this. It's well stitched, rivets are great, or not the rivets, whatever these are. I don't think those are rivets, whatever those are, they're done really well. And it's nice grain, thick grain leather, and I absolutely love it. So the sheath looks really good. Now, this is the small game knife. Also, the, there is the Hunter, which is kind of the flagship knife of the company. The Hunter is a little bit bigger knife, and I'm looking to be getting that here in the next couple months. But this is going to be my primary knife. It's called the small game knife, so it's good for even, you know, cutting up. Uh, it's not really a fillet knife, but you can't, you could cut up fish if you wanted, but you could easily rabbit, squirrels, whatever you wanted with this, but I'm going to be actually cutting up deer with this. And from what I hear, there's a lot of guys that like this knife better, the small game knife to cut up even like elk and moose and, and big game like grizzlies and even black bears and stuff like that. So this knife will do whatever you need it to do. It's a, a knife and a blade that's a good length to it. I think the overall length is seven inches, seven and a quarter inches, something like that. So if you're looking just for the blade length alone, you're still looking at about three, I don't exact, exactly know the dimensions, but you can find that on the website at Yukon River. They've got a really great logo. It's right there. You can see it's pretty cool. And it's a USA made knife, all the parts and production and employees and material, all of this is coming from the USA, which is great. Okay, now as far as the knife, the balance is great. There's not going to be any slippage as you're getting down there. There's you're opening it up as you're out field dressing that deer. When you cut into that that hip bone or that uh, that pelvis to open that thing up and pull all the the uh, the innards out, you're not going to have any trouble cutting through that bone with this knife. This steel, let me get this right here. I was told by a knife connoisseur, a buddy of mine, is incredible steel. It's CPM S thirty five VN steel, which means it's apparently really, really, really really nice high quality steel 
and it just feels great, great in the hand. Uh, for a smaller knife, like I said, it's not a small knife, but it's called the small game knife. It is, I mean, it it's, fits great. It's going to be perfect for me. So now, what am I going to use this for? In the fall, I'm already checking my trail cams. I'm real excited about what's been on the trail cam so far. I got a group of bachelor bucks that are probably four or five-year-olds that are 150, 150-ish in range already, and it's just now August. They're still in velvet. Pretty excited about it. So this is going to be my primary knife for my fall deer hunting, both with my bow and with my shotgun. In Illinois, you have to shoot with deer slugs, and so you've got these Sabbath rounds that pretty much shoot like a rifle, and I've got like a scope and everything on my 12 gauge, so I've got pretty good range with it. And then also in the spring, or excuse me, early winter or midwinter, in like early 2023, our church is taking a boar hunting trip down to Texas. And so I'm going to be taking this knife, or probably I'll be taking the Hunter, which is their, like I said, the flagship knife of theirs. And I'll have that in my belt, and that's what I'll use to cut up my pig. And I'm just really super excited about it. Now, I have two boys. One of the things you guys hear me talking about a lot is... Just, you know, the long-term effects of raising up children and giving them rites of passage. And one of the things I want to do is provide them with premium knives. Now, you can give this to your grandchildren, but this is the kind of thing that I'm going to give to my, my sons. And they're going to get a knife from Yukon River Knives in just several years down the road. But as a rite of passage ceremony, after they complete their rite of passage, and they're going to have six that they walk through before they can become a man, I will present them with a knife like this. And so if you're looking for a really great legacy gift to give to your children, grandchildren, friend, uh, even like a pastoral gift, somebody's becoming a, an ordained pastor and you need a gift for them or a graduation gift or something like that. This is a, again, this is a knife that's not going to break down. The value is only going to, going to go up and it's just going to end up being a character piece for you. You know, almost everybody has a grandpa or a dad that carried around a knife that they just remember being in the pocket of their dad or it was on their belt clip or it was on their whatever. It was their primary go-to knife. This can be that for you. And so the price tag on this is $150. The price tag on the big game knife is a hunt or the, uh, the hunter is $180. And they have an always there knife, which is kind of an everyday carry fixed blade knife for $100. And this is phenomenal. I couldn't be more pleased with it. If you want to get 15% off, you can right now by using the coupon code Shepherd's Crook, all lowercase, one word, Shepherd's Crook, and that coupon code is good for the month of August and for the month of September. You can't go wrong with Yukon River Knives. Now, I forgot to tell you on the front end, a portion of all the proceeds, all the the uh, the money that's that's made here, a portion of it goes towards mission on the Yukon River in Alaska. That is why they started the company. They have a heart for mission. Ron Stepp is the founder of Yukon River Knives, and they are working, he and Jeremy uh, McMorris, in cahoots with Owen Baker. Owen Baker is uh, Jr. is the designer of this knife, and they're also working in partnership with White River Knives. And those guys are just doing such a great job as they collaborate to make a great product. But Ron Stepp has a heart for missions in Alaska, and there is a family up there, the Roach family, that's doing great work along that river. And he is a, basically a wild Bushman missionary pastor that's going up and down that river doing missions work. And it's a great thing to see the gospel of Jesus spread throughout Alaska. And so this is American made for American mission. And it's made by great people that love Jesus and want to see the kingdom of God move forward. And so why not get a great product from a Christian company that loves you and wants to see the mission of God move forward. It's a great thing. Yukon River Knives. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Please share this to the to my Gab friends on here. The Gab community, I think, would absolutely love this company. Please share this, spread this, do what you can to spread the word. Yukon River Knives, coupon code Shepherd's Crook for 15% off. Thanks, guys.